example 160. Now let us find the least squares prediction line for our example above. So the example above was dealing with this model. The model was essentially designed to, in this problem, to predict the attractiveness rating on an eight-point scale that was given by women to men based on a photograph of the men. And we think that the reason why the women are voting on the men's attractiveness, and the photograph just showed their bodies, it didn't show their faces, but we believe that the women were basing their vote on um, their minds picking up subconsciously the waist to chest ratio. The waist to chest ratio is essentially just taking the waist circumference dividing it by the chest circumference. So we think that this number is all important in predicting the attractiveness on an eight-point scale. So we're trying to predict the woman's vote on attractiveness based on this measurement. Okay, so in our problem then, we're going to have to derive estimators for the y-intercept and for the slope. Now, when we look at our formulas for these quantities, we see the slope is made up of two sum of square values divided, the sum of square for the mixed term xy divided by the sum of squares for the x term. And we'll have the y-intercept, which basically takes the sample means here and plugs them into an expression with that slope estimator we found above. So we'll use those two formulas to derive our model. And lastly, we have um, the sum of square for xy defined and the sum of square for x, x defined. If you look at the definition here of the mixed term, sum of squares for xy, you see that it's the sum of the product of the two things, right? So xy here, xy here multiplied. It's the sum of their product minus the sum of x times the sum of y divided by the sample size. Now, if you look down here, you see a very analogous formula, right? This is x times y because this was xy. So this should be x times x. Well, x squared is what you get when you multiply x times x. So sum of x squared seems appropriate. Minus, now this is sum of x times sum of y, but of course if it's sum of x times sum of x, you'll get sum of x squared divided by the sample size. So it's a very analogous formula. They're very similar to one another. Let's go ahead and take these numbers they provided us in the preliminary calculations. So this is the males in the study. This is the males uh, waist to chest ratio, and this is um, the women's attractive rating, attractiveness rating on a eight point scale given to those particular uh, waist to chest ratios. Let's go ahead then and use that information to plug them into our formulas to come up with our model, basically, our estimator of our, our line, the regression line that should fit this data the best. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the first thing you need to calculate if you want to come up with these quantities that we need. We're going to come up with first the sum of square for the mixed term xy. Now to do that, remember the formula is the sum of the xi times yi terms, right, as a product, then minus the sum of the xi value times the sum of the yi values, right? So add up all the x values, add up all the y values, multiply the numbers, and divide by the sample size. All right, so in our case here, we have these numbers, the sum of the xi times yi value. So we have this column where we multiplied the x and y values together. We added them up and we got the answer 18.105. Then we subtract off the sum of the x value times the sum of the y value divided by the sample size. Well, the sum of the x value is four times the sum of the y value, which is 23.1 all over the sample size. So what's the sample size? Well, it's the number of ordered pairs we were given to start. So xy ordered pairs. We have one, two, three, four, five xy ordered pairs, right? All right, so there it is. That's our sample size, and we can work that out now in our calculator. Let's go ahead and do that quickly. So we'll have 18.105 minus four times 23.1 divided by five. And when we're done, we get negative 0.375. Just a heads up here before we move on to the next calculation. When you do these sum of square values, the only one that could ever be negative is the mixed term xy. If it's xx or yy, this could not be negative. The mixed term, however, can be negative, so it's okay that it's negative. All right, let's go on then. So we're looking at now the sum of square for xx. To do that one, Following the same pattern, right? It's going to be the sum of, since it's xx, it'll be xx, which is going to be xi squared then, minus the summation of x times the summation of x, right? So we're just multiplying it times itself, which is the same as saying it's squared, divided by n. 
All right, let's put in the numbers then. The sum of xi squared was given to us as 3.2, 3.225 minus these two quantities, which are the same, the sum of the xi values. That's going to be 4 times 4, or in other words, 16, divided by n, which is 5. Okay, so we're going to work that out quickly and see what our sum of squares for the x term is. So 3.225 minus 16 divided by 5. And when we're done, we get the answer 0 0.025. Okay, now we've done these two calculations. They're going to be necessary to calculate our slope. So our slope estimator, beta 1 hat, is going to simply be the ratio in the order we did them. The mixed term on top, so negative 0 0.375, divided by the x term on the bottom, 0 0.025. Um, as a helpful little memory aid, you might think of the original slope formula you learned in algebra, which was the change in y over the change in x. Remember the x term was on the bottom in that original slope formula. You can remember the x term here is on the bottom here. So between these two, you put the x term at the bottom. Okay, now let's go ahead and do our division. So we have the minus 0.375, oops, minus 0.375. And we're going to divide that by the 0 0.025. And we get the answer negative 15, negative 15. So that is our slope. All right, good. So we have our slope of negative 15. Our next step then is to come up with the estimator of the y-intercept. That's beta naught hat. And that estimator is y bar minus beta 1 hat times x bar. Now y bar is just the sample mean for y. We don't have that number, but remember how you would get it. You would add up all these values and then divide by the number of values. Well, they've already added them all up, so we just need to divide by the number of values here, which is 5. So y bar is going to be 23.1 divided by 5. That's the same as y bar. Minus the slope estimator, which we just found, so it would be minus minus 15. Minus minus, remember, becomes a plus. Then times your x bar. Now x is the same thing. Add up all the x's, divide by the number of values that will give you your mean. So the sum is 4. They told us that. And the number of values is 5, so we get 0.8 here. All right, let's go ahead and work all this out then in our calculator. So we're going to have 23.1 divided by 5. 23.1 divided by 5. Minus minus will become a plus, so plus 15 times 4 fifths or 0.8. I'm just going to put it as 4 fifths though, just so you see how that's done. All right, and when we're done, we get 16.62. So basically 16.62. Okay, so you have your slope, you have your y-intercept. It's time to plug it into our model. Our model then becomes y hat equals 2. I'm going to put it in this format. It's going to be the y-intercept first plus the slope times x. So when we plug that in for us, we're going to have this model. The y-intercept is 16.62 plus the slope, which is negative 15, times x. And if you want to clean that up, you can just say, hey, look, this equation basically is y hat is equal to 16.62 minus 15x. And that is finally our model. And this model is designed to predict the woman's attractiveness rating for men with a certain waist-to-chest uh, waist ratio.